Good morning, Hull and Liverpool. Today, in our third lesson about animals, we're going to be thinking about a very special kind of mammal. That mammal is a human being. And human beings have got parts of the body that we know quite a lot about. Can you remember when we talked about parts of the body and we labelled a picture of a person? When I click on a picture now, see if you can shout out the name of that part of the body before I show you the answer. So what am I? What is this part of the body? If you shouted out head, well done. Ready for the next one. What am I? Arm. What am I? Leg. What am I? Hand. What am I? Let's see if we can go back to that one because it skipped it. What am I? Foot. What am I? Bit tricky that one, isn't it? Some people might be thinking that's another arm, but it's this little the corner part of the arm that can bend here, it's your el elbow. What am I? It's pointing at two of these in the, in the middle of your leg. It can bend. It's your knee. What am I? And this is part of your head. It's the front part of your head with your eyes and nose and mouth. It's your face. What am I? This part of the body is at the top of your arm. It's below your neck. It's at the side of your body. You have two of them. It's your shoulders. What am I? This is the front part of your body. Let's go back to that one. That skipped as well. It's your chest. What am I? This is your waist. If it was in the middle, you might say that's your tummy or your stomach. What am I? This is your neck. Now, on your paper, you're, you are going to draw a picture of your body. What parts will you include? Maybe you'll start drawing your head first and add on the features such as your eyes and your nose and your hair and your mouth. Then maybe you can draw your neck. Remember to include two shoulders and your arms with your hands and fingers, your chest and your waist. And then don't forget your legs and your knees and your feet and your toes. See if you can label parts of your body. So we've talked about some in this lesson, but perhaps you can think of some more. This part of your leg here above your knee is called your thigh. This part of your leg here at the front of your leg is called your shin. So you might think of other parts of the body that we have not mentioned today. So see if you've got a pencil to do your drawing. Try and fill up the page to make it a big picture so you can label the parts of the body you know. If you've got some colours and you want to put some colours on your body, then you can do. And then when you've drawn your body and the body parts and labelled them, ask your grown up to take a photo and send it to Mrs Tarry if you're in year two, Miss Creasa if you're in Hull two or to me if you're in Hull one. Well done, everybody. Keep those bodies busy. Bye.